Hey, my name is Mel and I'm a full-time eBay seller here in Australia. I keep getting lots of people asking me, how do I know what is the best type of books to sell on eBay? And the answer to that question is the best type of books to sell on eBay are the books that are gonna make you the most money. Now, the only way to find out what books are gonna make you the most money is to do your research as a reseller. There are so many millions of books in this world and it's impossible to learn and know how much every single book costs. Now, I've been selling books for a long Long time and there are a lot of books that I'm very familiar with ones that sell regularly on repeat with me and I'm constantly buying large hauls which are always sight unseen which means I get to learn along the way as I go because I'm constantly researching new books that I otherwise wouldn't have picked up now the easiest and best way to learn how much a book is worth is simply by using your eBay app on your phone while you're outsourcing in a charity shop all you need to do is is open the phone app, type in the name of the book that's there on the shelf for sale and have a look what it's selling for. I think it's really important to look at the completed sales because what a book is selling for can often be quite different to what a book is listed for. Now, one thing I've also noticed is a lot of resellers tell me that they're actually uncomfortable pulling out their eBay app inside a charity shop and openly comping these books <laughs> or clothing or whatever it is you sell. People are actually uncomfortable to do that in public inside a charity shop. I don't think you need to be worried about that. I think that the charity shops are used to it and I don't ever feel uncomfortable now pulling out my phone and running completed sales while I'm in store. But if you are somebody who is uncomfortable doing that, I've got a solution for you. Today, I'm gonna to take you for a ride down to the local library that I've got here. And if you wanna learn about books, and if you wanna do some research and really have a look at how much some books are selling for, then this is the best way to do it for you. Now, obviously, when you go down to the library, these books are not for sale. However, what you will learn in a few hours down at the library will actually probably blow your mind. If you go down to the library, what you can do is look at all the different genres of books that maybe you would walk straight past in a charity shop. Nobody's gonna care while you're in the library if you're using your eBay app. They won't even have a clue what you're doing. Now, researching books is just like clothes. When you are learning how to sell clothes on eBay, you need to go and research all the different brands and there's different ways to do that. And books is no different. You can't just go to the bookshop, pick up any book and expect to make money on it. Think of it as like when you're at school and you go on an excursion to learn something hands-on. Well, treat going to the library just as an excursion for yourself because the reseller who spends time researching and learning and taking in knowledge is the reseller that's gonna succeed. So let's go for a drive down to the library. And what I'm gonna actually do is video some of the aisles of the library, and then I'm gonna price comp those books and I'll put the screen share up on the screen here so you can see exactly what some of those books are price comping for.
the biggest things, guys, that you can do as a reseller is to always be learning and to expand your knowledge on things to sell. And it doesn't matter if you're a clothes seller or a bookseller like me, it's really important to always be learning and always doing research always looking up what is currently selling, whether or not that's via the eBay website, via your phone app where you're comping, anything that you can do to gain knowledge will help you become a better reseller. So even just going into that library, I learned a lot for myself because when I go out cherry picking, I'm often scanning with my eyes and looking for books that are familiar to me, books that I've already sold before and books that I think might be worth money. But there's so many books around that I just wouldn't even look twice at in a charity shop and they are really worth a lot of money. But as you can see, there's no real quick fix, easy answer into what is the best book to sell on eBay or the best genre. There's millions of millions of books out there and some of them are just worth so much money, it's crazy. However, you need to do your own research and it comes down a lot to trial and error. Sometimes you're gonna go and buy books and you're gonna try and sell them and they're just not gonna sell. The same thing happens to me sometimes. I've got books listed there that haven't sold. It happens to everyone. It's the same if we're a clothes seller. We often buy clothes, they don't sell. It's just part of the game. But the best chances you've got is by doing your research and looking up the completed sales on the eBay app to tell you exactly what has been sold in the last 90 days. The more you research, the more you learn, and then the more you'll retain that knowledge, and then next time you go out to the charity shops, you might spot one of those books that you've actually researched before and go, hey, I remember that book. That was worth quite a lot of money. You'll run the comps again, and it'll give you the actual cost, and you'll go, yes, I remembered that. That was a good one. I'm going to buy it. Because knowledge is key, if you'd like to watch one of my other videos which shows how much I sold some of my books for, just click this little link here and it will take you through to learn more.